Hey everyone, this is Mike from Mike's Do-It-Yourself. Today I want to show you how to do uh, plumbing for kitchen or bathroom. And I'll go through the steps to show you how to do that. Now first of all, the tools you might need are going to be a hacksaw and a hacksaw blade. So this is a good one to use. And then, of course, your hands just to tighten up these connections. And you're going to need a P trap. And you may need an extension tube. Now, what you're doing from when you have your faucet in, it may come with a tailpiece. And that's what this piece is underneath the sink. So you have, uh, you have up in the top here. You have your stopper right here, and then this one had a O-ring gasket, and you may use plumber's putty on that, depending on if it's, if it's not a gasket, most likely you'll use plumber's putty underneath there, and you'll just beat it and roll it underneath there, and then when it tightens down, it'll squeeze out the sides. So, from there... You'll want to head and you'll want to tighten this up from the bottom, and then the tailpiece here just goes down, and this is an inch and a quarter. Yours may be an inch and a half, but what they usually come with these P traps, they'll come with a reducing ring or a reducing washer, so that you're able to go from uh, inch and a quarter. To an inch and a half and that's that may be what your drain is and that's what this drain is is an inch and a half okay and for this one it doesn't go down quite far enough and you do have a stopper or you do have this piece in the back for your stopper and you'll just want to tighten this all the way and then I had to use two bars because the original piece up top wasn't very long. So you may have to do that, you may not. Okay, and the way this is going to go into the waste drain, it's going to go like this, like that. And as you can see, it's a little bit long. And as you can see, it's a little bit short too. So I am going to need that extension piece that goes on here. And so the hacksaw, you can use that to cut part of this down and you can use it to use uh, and you can use it to cut your extension tube down so I'll show you that now this is an inch and a quarter extension tube and that'll be the same diameter as this the outside diameter is this and so the way you turn these You're going to want to put your lock nut on first, and then you want to put your o-ring on, and you want to put it so that it cups downward, and so the seal is going to be like that on top of your extension piece if you need your if you need an extension piece. You may not need this. So lock nut on first, the washer. And this will slide up and down, depending on, you know, just don't go too far down with it because it will slide all the way off. So you can just barely tighten that up temporarily. And then this is going to go on there. And then you 
you should have got a reducing ring. And what it is, there's like, it just goes in to an inch and a quarter on this inside. So you'll slip that around here. You'll put this on first. And you slip this on, reducing ring. And then you can sort of line it up and you may or may not need to uh, do some cutting. As you can see when it's lined up it is about an inch too long I could cut it down a little bit I, think I might be able to move it over enough to get it lined up so you slip that on going towards your waistline, the waist drain, and you can slide that in and out. Okay. Let's see if this lines up. Looks like that can line up. So go ahead and tighten that up. Okay, and then just hand tighten these for now. Okay, once everything is finger tight, you can just make sure it all lines up and it looks okay. And just make sure you're not putting a lot of pressure one way or the other on your drains. Because if you are, like I said, you may need to cut your piping so it lines up a little better. Okay, and if you like every, if you like the way everything lines up, you can go ahead and tighten these down a little bit more. Just to where they're really snug. So you have your reducing washer in here. This is your extension. This is your tailpiece, your P-trap, and then it goes into your waist drain. And so all these connections are tight. And then after that, you can go ahead and turn on your water. out the we'll take out the screen on this whatever garbage and junk was in there before can get washed out oh, and watch out for the washer because that'll probably come out on you you want to do both sides the hot and cold. Okay. And then once both sides look clear, you can put your aerator back on. And all this does is to make it 
more smooth going into your drain so it doesn't splatter everywhere. Just make sure that's nice and tight. Okay, and then once you turn your water on, you can check underneath here. And see if you have any leaks. And it looks like I have a leak right in there. So that would be a matter of tightening this down. Okay, to tighten this down, I'm just using an adjustable wrench here. Tighten that. And when you think you've got it tight enough, just wipe away the water and then run your water from the top again. And then also, if you're doing brand new connections, you know, you'll want to check here and then here, back in here. You know, just check where you've done all your connections and then up, up there too where the faucet connects and just make sure there's nothing leaking. If this is a brand new install. Those all look good. Alright, and I think I've stopped the leak. I don't see any more leaking. But it's a good idea for a day or two just to keep an eye on it and just check it periodically. And that way you can catch a leak before it gets too bad. Well, this has been Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Good luck on your next Homer Automotive project, and thanks for watching.